Newly filed court documents reveal that Fusion GPS, the company behind the infamous Trump dossier, made payments to at least three reporters in 2016 and 2017. Todd Shepard is an investigative reporter at the Washington Examiner. Uh, Thor Halverson is the CEO of Human Rights Foundation, is directly linked with, uh, uh, with GPS, and he'll tell you about it in a second. Uh, first, to, uh, to, uh, to right now to, uh, to the story that broke in the Washington Examiner. Three reporters say, and who have wrote things against Donald Trump on the payroll from uh, GPS. What does this mean to you? Well, Brian, uh, first of all, the documents that we looked at, uh, it, it shows that these journalists were paid in a contract manner. So I can't necessarily say that they were on the payroll. Um, as to whether or not the stories they've written about Donald Trump, were they negative? What we really know is that they've been writing about Russia-related activities, and they've been writing about the House Intelligence Committee. But it's this last part that really concerns the investigators and the attorneys for the House Intelligence Committee, uh, especially, uh, you know, how much did they use their influence and their leverage with other journalists in this town to plant stories of, about the dossier, supposedly. Uh, and again, as you mentioned, some of those payments began, let's say, back in June of last year. So uh, that would be about the time that the court documents also reveal that they were sending uh, Christopher Steele, the British spy who assembled the dossier, that they were sending him out to pitch the dossier to media companies uh, all along, uh, all in D.C. and up in, in New York City. So what does this mean to you? You know Fusion GPS. They did some work with you, on you, rather, I should say. Well, yeah. Important clarification, Fusion GPS was hired to smear me and to smear a group of us who were whistleblowing about a Venezuelan corruption case. A group of criminals in Venezuela hired Fusion GPS so that they would then smear us. They created a dossier smearing us. They did one on me personally smearing me. They took that dossier to the Wall Street Journal. It did not work. The reporters there would not bite. Ultimately, they found an out-of-work reporter, Ken Silverstein, in Washington, D.C., and he took their money and then took what was in that dossier and published a fake news story. The, what, the, what Fusion GPS does is create fake news. They get paid to smear people. And the fact that the, the House investigators have actually found these three journalists have been paid, they should unredact that. And I should note that just because it's in their banking records doesn't mean that there's not a whole bunch of other journalists that didn't get paid in cash. I have no doubt that they've also paid journalists in cash. It's what Fusion GPS does. And a lot of journalists don't want that on the record, so they want it in cash. This is a massive scandal. And the mainstream media knows that there are negative repercussions. And so this is why this must all come out. This must all be unredacted. There should be more and more information about who's right. getting paid. What are they getting paid for? Right. Thor, I can tell you fired up. Todd, this is part of the negotiations, wasn't it, before GPS came to the table to speak to the House Intelligence Committee. They were so reluctant to come right. out. Maybe this was part of the negotiation. I will admit there are reporters, but I will not tell you their names. And that, to me, is not something the Intelligence Committee should have the right to do. We need to know. Well, the, the House Intelligence Committee, from these documents, again, it looks like they, uh, they intend to fight this to the, to the last second. Now, I asked Josh Levy, uh, who is an attorney for Fusion, about the, the, the payments made to the journalists. They said, look, we never pay a journalist to actually do a story, but we do pay journalists to do some contract investigating, and it never really ends up, uh, you know, they never write on the stories in which they investigate. But I think uh, Mr. Halverson alludes to some very serious issues here about conflict conflicts of interest. Look, conflicts of interest don't have to be um, disqualifying for a journalist. But if you're a journalist and you worked for Fusion on, let's say, some entirely separate project, and then you're reporting on the House Intelligence Committee in September of this year, in October of this year, yep. when it's entirely about Fusion GPS, you owe it to, the, to your media consuming public at the bottom to have a disclaimer right. that says, I've made money from Fusion GPS in the past. Right. And Thor, Th unfortunately, we're going to have to leave it is. there. We do have some breaking news to go over, but thanks so much. Uh, Fusion GPS, uh, sure. we have to find out a lot more about that. We're going to realize the Russians are loving this because they played both sides effectively, creating confusion and distrust in America. Guys, thanks. Have a great Thanksgiving.